when did you know after you launched that this was really going to take off? Mm -hmm. I mean, was it something that was just sort of immediate, you know, ramp, or was it something that sort of slowly you had word of mouth, your sort of, you know, uh, your friends and and the Y Combinator, uh, you know, community started using. Um, you worked, you know, you worked out the kinks, right. and then I mean, at what? How long after that launch did it? Did the hockey stick start? So there were a couple of important inflection points. Um, the first was that Y Combinator video I talked about. Um, we actually did the same thing again uh, when we did our private beta launch about a year later mm -hmm. uh, in March 2008. Um, and TechCrunch covered it. And, and what we did was we put this video on Dig that was a very similar kind of product demonstration, but had all these Easter eggs kind of aimed at the Dig audience. Mm -hmm. um, right, I remember that. And, uh, because you know, I in high school read Slashdot, and you know, we would read sites like Dig and Reddit, and sort of we knew we had a sort of finger on the pulse of mm -hmm. the internet community, um, and you know, and love those sites as much as the community did. And so, uh, I'm doing this deadpan demonstration, right. uh, but then there's all these kind of funny things going on in the background. And it's that sort of catch your eye, and you, you know, even if you're only moderately excited about Dropbox, chances are you saw a reference to you know, XKCD or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it, it, just all the different things that we, we sort of hid in there. Right, all these memes that were popular. Yeah, all these internet there. memes, exactly. So we jammed a dozen of those in there. Um, it was very deliberate. Uh, and, but we totally underestimated the response we would get. Yeah. So, what was um, the response? So it hit the top of dig. Mm -hmm. uh, it was probably, you know, something like 12,000 digs. It was probably the most Doug startup thing ever. Uh -huh. uh, and you know we had, we had, were in this like chain restaurant the night before, and it's, the team was only three of us at the right. time, uh, and we were starting placing bets, and, the, and the, we had five thousand signups or you know, waiting list signups then, mm -hmm. and we get our, the highest guess around the table is that we get to fifteen thousand, so that we'd triple overnight. Mm -hmm. Turns out we signed up seventy thousand. We had seventy five thousand people sign up for in the waiting list hours. in twenty four hours. Uh -huh. Hundreds of thousands of people watching the video coming right. to the site, just blew us away, and so. You know, with any of these sort of uh, consumer internet services, you really have to worry about okay, well, we got to get a, we have to get to critical mass and sort of light the match, right? Um, and then things can snowball from there. Uh, for us, we were fortunate that we did something that kind of worked off the bat. And at that point, did you feel like you wanted to keep the growth going, or that you wanted to, you know, use these uh, users as almost a petri dish yeah. to learn? Really, how how they yeah. use the product and perfect the product, yeah. make the mistakes with them, and then and then it's much more the latter. Uh -huh. So, um, and, and, classic lean startup. Yeah. So, it, and well, it is, but then you know, there are different schools of thought on it, right? One just like open the floodgates and let it rip, but you know, if your product isn't good, then you just basically educated, you squandered, not only did you sort of squander an opportunity, but you then educated these hundreds of thousands of people that your stuff sucks, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and your chances are you're, not, you're, you're likely not going to get a second chance. Um, but, uh, you know, at the same time, you can't just like sit on something if, if you don't know it's going to be, or you can, most, most people err on the side of, of waiting too long and not learning early enough and, you know, right. waste a bunch of time building something that people don't want. So we sort of went, did something in the middle with sort of a Gmail style closed beta, um, both to build scarcity and so people, you know, we were shocked to see like people selling invites on eBay and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, but then also add users in controlled batches because, you know, the kinds of things we were dealing with in the early days uh, were, you know, increasingly obscure bugs. Um, not, not necessarily bugs with Dropbox as much as sort of weird types. things that happen, you know, if you have a file name with a non-English character in it, um, then that is represented in similar but different ways on Windows, on Mac, mm -hmm. on Linux, all different. Uh, even within Windows, you can have different file systems, and they can do, uh -huh. you know, they can have idiosyncrasies that you have right. to deal with. Um, and if you don't cover all the bases, then you can run into serious problems, or it just doesn't work. Um, and uh, you know, even to the point where I'd be up at, you know, four in the morning, like trying to install a version of Swedish Windows because there right. was some bug that only happened on Swedish Windows. So how long was this private beta period, this learning period, where you were really working through all the kinks? You know, we, had, we had been, so the, we'd probably, you know, from, from the Y Combinator application to launch, it was almost a year and a half. Right, and then from launch, what was the next inflection point? 
So the next inflection point after that, I mean, then really things started to to, to snowball. Um, so we had 100,000 users uh, at launch at TechCrunch 50 uh, in 2008. Um, that doubled in 10 days. Uh, you know, we hit probably a million six months after, you know, six seven months after that. Um, and you know, one of the things we found was that you know, we had all these marketing activities we were doing. So we'd done all these things that we sort of thought were like ghetto and kind of hacks to get users, even though they were working. Right. Um, and then we were like, okay, well now we need to grow up and do a big bang launch and like, you know, hire people and hire a PR firm 